In this social traffic networking video, we're going to take a look at Veo, which is V-E-O-H dot com. That's V-E-O-H dot com, Veo dot com. And it's basically a site where you can share videos and information. So it's a very simple to use site, upload your videos and content and have people coming back to your site. The reason why I particularly like this site, uh, if we come down here, just this one section, for example, here's a web series. You can watch all sorts of stuff in here, which is why it's so popular. There's TVs and movies, there's channels, there's communities. But in the Howcast section alone, you can see there's things here like how to chop garlic, how to make, this is a food section, by the way. So how to make a Bloody Mary, how to make a daiquiri, how to, make a, uh, how to pack a, a beer cooler, how to make a vodka and tonic. All basic how-to guides, so you can actually start putting up your content as how-to guides that other people can watch. As you can see here, by choosing the publish section, it says that you can publish your own videos, create your own channel or group, embed the video player on your website, blog or favorite social network, create videos for iPods and other devices. So you can just join Veo Pro and then you can access the full set of publishing capabilities. This is something that you can consider later, but when you first get going, just creating a free account is straightforward and easy. So we're going to go ahead and sign up. And it says here, sign up today for full access, get personalized recommendations, join the community, upload and publish videos, download Veo TV for free. Username, email, password, confirm your password, your country, your zip code, male or female, birthday, year, etc. Enter the words that are shown here. You can choose to sign up for the Vision newsletter if you want to, or you can not sign up. It's entirely up to you. And then you can read the terms of service just here, and then click on sign up to join the actual site. I'm going to fill this out now and click sign up, and we'll see you on the next page. Once you hit that, you'll be on to the next page where you now you can update your picture. So you can update your picture here. Just click on it. And then you can uh, simply click here, browse, get the picture you want, and have it uploaded to the site. And you can put a little quote with the image as well. And it's scaled down to the width of 277 pixels, which gives you an idea here. And if you want to also, on your profile, get it filled out a lot quicker. If you're already on Facebook, you can pre-fill the information from Facebook straight away. And it'll pull all the information into here. Or you can go along to fill out the information. You can put your website, a little bit about you. And again, gearing this to your particular niche is uh, essential, really, because you want to have this um, linking to your niche market. Unless, of course, you're branding yourself, then you can just make it all about you and maybe your website, blog, etc. Put in your interests here, TV shows that you like, movies that you like, music that you like. You can customize privacy options here. You can have them shown or hidden. Can customize the CSS of the site if you want to. Or as I said, you can actually pull it in from Facebook if you already have a Facebook account. In order to upload a picture, you just click Browse. Choose a picture that you want. So I'm going to pick one just like this and hit Open. And you can put a little quote. Once you've written your quote and you're happy with your image, you just scroll down and hit Save. And it will then upload the picture if it's suitable and scale it to your profile. Along the top of the page here you can check your messages and your friends as you get them and as you can see here you can look at your welcome page, your profile, your channels, your groups, your friends, your favorites, messages, subscriptions and account settings etc. So if we go to profile again from here you can see that we this will be the profile it says how long we've been a member for we can put information about us, we can upload our videos, our favorites, our collections, and start adding to the site here, posting comments, invite friends, and then when we're ready, you can actually link to our page and let people come and find us on the web. If we go to my channels, and as you can see, if you try going to any other parts, you need to confirm before you can move forward. Just logging into our email account, it says here, thank you for registering with Veo. It's a new way to watch, discover, and broadcast internet television. You can watch your favorite private prime time TV shows online and discover new programming that isn't available on regular TV. Now that you've registered, confirm your email address so you can start a group. Then it tells you about other things you can do as well, such as inviting friends, creating your own groups, down in, download and install the beta TV, publish videos, and bookmark your welcome page. So if we confirm our email address, 
says your email has been successfully confirmed, which means that we're now able to actually start publishing more content on our websites. So here we can see we can upload a video if we wanted to just to get started. The great thing about Veo is at this current time there's no file restrictions so if you're going to upload a video you can do so here as it says if they're going to be larger than 100 megabytes they recommend that you actually use Veo TV and Veo Pro publishers can automatically upload existing RSS feeds through their RSS integration but the Pro account you have to pay for so when you're first getting started just use your basic free account as you can see here we've got advertising going on on the right hand side we can upload in AVI, MPEG, QuickTime and Windows Media style videos and we just put in the title, description, put in the tags, edit the categories, country of origin we have to confirm about the information here on the video content, primary language spoken and what is a primary language of subtitles if there are any and leave blank if there's none and then click to continue to upload your video and you can then start creating your own channels and your own content where people can be checking out information you're putting on. So just to go back to actual videos in the community at Veo to give you an idea of what you can be doing. For example, if you happen to be a master of the golf swing and you want to start putting up training videos on here of how to get the best out of your golf swing, we type in golf swing here and we can see that someone's actually already doing that. Uh, so let's go take a look at what they've got and the video is loading here and will load up and start playing on the site but of all the golf lessons that I've given for the past 30 years. and there's here somebody actually training you about golf now the thing here is you can embed it like with YouTube you can link to it you can download it if you want to if it's downloadable here you can see there's been over 8,000 views already of this video and the tag categories are sports golf education etc there's no comments at the moment so you could be making comments here and you have to just put in the words to confirm before you post and actually having more information this person here as you can see has got is got smart and they're actually using a web address so this person here has got a, a very high detailed video series here but what they could have done is had a nice little um, watermark over the video linking back to their product that they might want to sell uh, or their course could all be on here and it could have introed into the video as well but they've, they've not actually chosen to do that at this point so using video on these sites you could be very quickly getting uh, people back to your websites if you decide to do a fitness video series or a cooking video series or a craft making series or a scrapbooking or walking your dog anything you can pretty much think of as how to guides that people are going to be wanting to watch and find out more information about you could be putting these videos up on Veo, linking back to your affiliate sites or your product links or your blogs and getting that social traffic to you whereby you can convert to sales later on down the line. And that's how simple and easy it is. I'd recommend that you really go into focusing when you get to Veo. Make sure you get along to your uh, actual profile page and start updating it and putting on useful information, good photographs that people will then come to your site and realize that you are actually someone to take note of and to follow and then you'll find the traffic will flow and come after that. Thanks for watching.